bruising all over her arms and she could barely keep her eyes open. That is what the caseworker who last saw Marissa Kennedy reported seeing just two days before Marissa died. That disturbing detail is one of dozens found in a 12 page report about the case released last week. So why wasn't more done? You said, I mean, Samantha York is here now and Sam, what are you hearing well, about Cindy, that? Cindy, that is one question we may never get answered. But what we do know is that concern surrounding flaws within Maine's Department of Health and Human Services is still there. Caseworkers say they're still overburdened and while caseworkers have been hired, there's still the training process. Meanwhile, one Maine Senator says all of it is simply not enough, that it's time for the state to stop talking about change and start making it happen. It's a report that will make you say, how could this happen? The chilling details surrounding Marissa Kennedy's death and the red flags that were there all along. In Marissa's case, the dozens of reports made to the state apparently lost in a bureaucracy. Cases were opened, then closed without proper evaluation, sometimes even passed up to another division of DHHS with zero follow-up. We had all these people and agencies involved. Senator Bill Diamond says no matter how much time passes, what happened still haunts him. This literally keeps me awake at night thinking, oh my God, anybody else out there that's on the verge of being beaten to death? And but we're not going to know. We're not going to know until they die. As someone who sat on the state's government oversight committee for nearly a decade and who sat at the trials of both Sharon Kennedy and Julio Carrillo, Diamond is no stranger to Marissa's case or those of other children in the system. Since Marissa's death, the state has made changes between hiring on more staff and upping training. Diamond says it's a start, but it's not enough. And what I'm so afraid we're going to do is say, oh, good, we've added 32 caseworkers, 20 more caseworkers, Good, now DHHS, go solve the problem. It ain't going to happen, as they say. Diamond believes more oversight and having the department check in regularly about challenges it's facing could help, especially when it comes to recognizing a high-risk situation. He's hoping new legislation will help, but says it's a solution everyone needs to be a part of. We have to hold hands on this and then share responsibility because we know what happens. When somebody dies, we all look at the department and say, you know, what you guys really screwed up again. But we should look at us, ourselves, and say all of us together uh, are not doing the job we should do. 